Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Cameron Coyle. This is Brendan Coyle. And welcome to our special edition of the POTUS Classic. We had this idea after filming of one of our Fun Fact Friday episodes uh, about uh, episode four of Fireside. Abe Lincoln was a trash talker. Go check that out. He was a big time wrestler in the Wrestling Hall of Fame. And we wondered if um, during his time as a wrestler, there was any way that he and Zachary Taylor may have wrestled together, considering they were in close proximity to each other. And so we figured that we might as well possibly simulate that through a little tournament of all the presidents that have wrestled in the past. And so, with our UFC 3 video game on PlayStation, Brendo is going to guide this, because I don't really know anything about video games, but he's going to guide us through this and possibly even commentate a little bit, we'll see. And we're going to see who is best. Who is the best president in UFC? Alright, so this is how the tournament is going to work. We basically ranked the presidents that have wrestled before uh, on a scale that we didn't really know. We just kind of put PowerPoints together and kind of made it up as we went along. Um, so we did these rankings here. The top winner of this bracket right here is going to, uh, to wrestle Lincoln or should I say, fight Lincoln at the end of the tournament. Yeah, the winner. The winner will fight Lincoln. Yeah. Uh, but the rest of the presidents will battle it out here. So we're going to have, our first round is going to be William Howard Taft, the second seed, who wrestled... Not counting Lincoln. Not counting but Lincoln. But he's really, like, the first in this bracket. First in this bracket. Taft, number two, taking on number nine, Chester Arthur. I made his stats super weird, just because... It's Chet. You got it. <laughs> uh, and then we had, going up in that side of the bracket, we have Andrew Jackson going up against our boy, Zachary Taylor. So we'll see how that goes. On the other side of the bracket, we have our, our guy that we named Big Daddy, considering his father of the country status, George Washington, going up against Ike the Power Eisenhower. It's a good nickname we made up there. Yeah. And at the end, the last match of the first round will be Teddy Roosevelt, or Teddy Roosevelt, and Ulysses S. Grant. So these all all these presidents wrestled, and we're looking forward to seeing how they play out. Brendan is not going to be playing with his yeah, controller. Yeah, this is just going to be the computer. And uh, one more thing, this is going to be three round fights. Five round would just take a long, super long time. And um, the one cool thing about the game is that you can um, actually, the fighters can actually not recover at 100% in the middle of the fights. So we put that option on. So um, it's going to be more like realistic. So yeah, that's really that's really all the, the rules, I guess, the stuff considering the tournament. So, why don't we start this? Alright, let's get on with the first match. President William Howard Taft, number 27, 1909 to 1913, versus number 9 seed, Chester Allen Arthur, 21st president from 1881 to 1885. Let's do it. Wow. That MSG, by the way, guys. Good to see this talented player make the walk again once tonight. Gotta think he'll look to use his speed and footwork in this fight. Those appear to be his biggest advantages. Maybe not the most powerful guy on the roster necessarily, but exceptionally quick on the feet. Man, look at this guy, Chad Arthur. 
Brendo made him really weird, but his sideburns, his mustachio right there, the mutton chops are looking tremendous. Indeed. He gave him all tattoos, by the way. So. Gave him a little tattoo. Yeah, if you if you want to comment down below what your favorite is, that's that's great. Yes, feel free. We actually had a couple. Whoa! Oh, look at that! <laughs> oh. Oh. The 225 pounder from Yale University. These guys were renowned for being bigger guys. Oh, here we go. And they both possess a similar height and reach. So those are the stats, guys. Yeah, those are the stats. We put them all at 26 because Brendan believes that is their that is their peak age. And believe it or not, both these guys are. Chet Arthur. He's actually gigantic. He's like 6'2". The Yale athlete. <laughs> oh. A lot of people say this ref isn't very good. There's a white game of crap. Because Oh, no points. Oh! <laughs> Arthur really had no power on that. Oh my gosh! Look at Taft here. Ooh. Arthur blocks the roundhouse here. Oh, nice leg kick. Oh. Roundhouse. Ooh, oh. the hook, the jab. Ooh, oh, there you Arthur go. Arthur with a straight. Man, there's nothing going on right now. Another thing, guys. I didn't give any of the, of the fighters head kicks, so I kind of regret that, but that's okay. Again, oh, he ooh. went for the single leg, but he just could not do it. And look at his stamina already going down. Ooh. And he's looking for the takedown. Can he get it? Yes, he can. Single leg. And remember, Taft is a grappler. He was a Yale University 225 Oh, and he's pound. in side control. Wow. Oh, he's looking for those elbows. Look at the ground and pound. Ooh. Such violence. Mm -hmm. Kids at home. PG-13. Watch with your parents. Oh, and he's going to look for the rear naked choke. No, he's not. Now he's in full guard. And Taft is just trying to get up. Is just trying to pound him. Arthur is trying to just get up. Trying to survive. Now, I remember reading yeah, an article and he gets once. up. I remember reading an article once about if you put all the presidents in a knife fight, who would win? That's a little, that's a little, yeah, a knife fight. That's a little, uh, extreme. Oh, but and a this double is for pretty Taft. realistic. Double for Taft. If he can get into side control here, then he can get some good ground in there. Oh, and he's looking for the guillotine, and he's got it! Oh, here he is! Wow. 
Oh, and he's looking for it! Wow. Oh my gosh! He's gonna get the upset! Can he? Can he do it? Oh! He's looking for it! Oh my gosh! No, and he gets out of it! Oh wow! Taft breaks out of the guillotine Man. from Chester Arthur! This is very surprising. Taft is the number two seed here, and Arthur's fighting for his life. He's trying to look for the rear naked choke, though. But if, is... if you look at Arthur's Arthur and Taft's stamina, it's not looking too good for them. They were definitely bigger guys <laughs> yeah. their time. Maybe not the best cardio, but they're working their butts off. Again, Taft in this game and is he gets 25. Up. Let's see what happens in the last five seconds. Oh, and he went for the body jab. And that's wow. the end of the first round, everybody. So remember, Taft was 225 when he wrestled at Yale. He was actually very renowned wrestler. He did pretty well back in his day. Uh, had it. His finishing move, basically, was throwing his opponent over the shoulder, and it was called the Flying Mark. Absolutely destruction out of, uh, out of William Howard Taft, back as a Yale Bulldog. Wow. Ooh, look at that roundhouse. See Chet kind of flinch there after. He felt that. Oh, oh no! Nope. Oh forgot about that. Oh, boy. Again, PG-13. Wow. All Crap. right, Brendan. Brendan, come on. <laughs> Cut that out. No. For the people. And here it is. Oh, and a roundhouse wow. from Taft. And here it is. Okay. He's getting those nice jabs. Oh, and he blocks a leg kick. Look at Taft's head health. Not doing too well right now. Oh, and they're just throwing hooks. Taft is not accustomed to this fighting here. This Bare knuckle rest, uh, bare he doesn't. Knuckle he doesn't like the stand-up game. He likes to just take guys down and pound them. Taft is strong, though. Arthur, not so much, but that's okay. Arthur is seventy-seven percent on the strikes. Oh, oh and he gets the double. Oh, wow. Gets the double. Ooh, wow. Chet really. Ooh, Chet coming from the bottom now. Wow. Wow. I feel like he's got a lot of a lot of power. Oh, and he's going for the ball. back. Wow. Can he get it? Oh, yes, he's got the back. He went for it. Chester Allen. Now he's on wow. top of him. Look at that. Chester beating down on Tafter. Good old Chet. The oh, and he's got his boss. back. Yeah, here it is. Oh, he's a nice block there from Chet. Oh, and he's got the back now. Oh, and he's down, looking for the rear naked choke. The yes, he's got it. The Look gentleman at boss. Going for the submission. Chester Arthur. Wow, Taft has him. Big Bill. The flying mark. Oh, and oh, he taps! And Taft will be Taft moving on. Taft will move the semi -final. on. Semi-final. Look at that. He is hyped right now. Wow! Look at him. He's showboating. And the Yale Bulldog making all of those back in New Haven proud. And in Cincinnati, his hometown. And here we can see it again. Cuts off the blood supply, and you can see the fighter go limp. And Chet just had to tap there. He did not want to go out. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. Can I say though, Chet Arthur, great fight. Yeah, he held his own. He almost set a submission on Taft. So there he is, if that happened, that would have been big. That would have been very big, folks. Because the, the, the worst ranked seed. Moving on. Second, second round, and... All right, folks, and that was your first matchup there. William Howard Taft defeating Chester Arthur in a very good matchup. 
make sure to stay tuned for our next fight. Again, Andrew Jackson versus Zachary Taylor. We appreciate you watching this one, and we're looking forward to the second bout coming up on this POTUS Classic.